Good evening. Good evening, teacher. All right, good evening, everybody. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Very good. Okay. And you? Great. I'm fine. Thanks. It's nice to meet you, Marvin. Good evening. Let me see Manuel Aristides. Good evening. Good evening, too. How are you? How are you, mister? I find, I find a uh, bad, uh, I como se dice calor. I'm <laughs> hot. I, I'm you're, hot. <laughs> you're hot, yeah, it's very yeah. hot today, right? Yes, yes. I know. How was your day? What? How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Uh, ah, um, um, my day is good, but um, okay. go works so okay. much. Oh, okay. So it was a hard day at work. Yes, yes, hard day at work. Okay. All right. Well, it's nice to meet you, Manuel. Nice to meet you too. Melissa Arely, good evening. Excuse me. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hi, how's everything? How are you? It's fine. Okay, great. How was your day? Yeah, I'm very hot. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Was it busy as well? Was yes. it busy? Okay. All right. But was it all right? Was it fine? Uh, sorry, your microphone is off, Melissa. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Que se, 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 es, me, me está fallando ahorita oh. en los audífonos. Ok. Hello. So don't worry about it. Welcome to the class. It's nice to Thank meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. Thanks. Joana Cortez. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? How are you, Joana? How are you? I'm doing well, and you? I'm doing well, and you? How are you? How are you? Como esta? I'm very good. Okay, great. I'm glad to hear that. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Maria del Carmen, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today, Maria del Carmen? My day is very good. Okay, excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Welcome to the class, and it's nice to meet you. See. Oh, welcome to the class. It's nice to meet you. No le comprendo. Okay, don't worry. Welcome, bienvenida. It's nice to meet you. Mucho gusto. Uh, thank you. Nice to meet you too. Okay, thanks. Um, let me see Mayra Villorio. Hello, good, after, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good evening. I fine. I'm fabulous. Oh, all right. That's nice. How was your day? Interesting day. Oh, you had an interesting day? Working. Okay. What? You had an interesting day. Nice to meet you, teacher. It's nice to meet you too, Mayra. Let's see, Luis Thank Mendoza. You. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. 
How are you, Luis? Fine, teacher. Okay, great. How was your day? Um, uh, heavy teacher. <laughs> oh, it was a hard one. Okay. Did you have a lot of work? Sorry? Did you have a lot of work? Mucho trabajo? Did you have a lot of work? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Oh, okay. All right. So we're glad that it's finally over, right? Almost. Almost over. <laughs> so it's nice to meet you, Luis. Okay. Sorry? It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, teacher. Thank you. Milagro Elizabeth. Good evening. Check your microphone, please, miss. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? Hi, thank you. Okay, great. How was your day? It's very tidy. Oh, okay. All right. It's nice to meet you, Milagro. Nice to meet you, teacher. Thank you. Crisia Muñoz, good evening. Hello, Crisia, good evening. Crisia, sorry, Crisia Muñoz. All right, maybe she has trouble with the audio or something. So let me see who's missing. Um, Carla Iris, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Carla? I'm fine, thanks. Okay, Hi, very lady. well. How was your day? Well, I had a very productive but oh. um, hard day. Oh, all right. A lot of work. Okay, but I'm glad to hear that it was good. It was productive. Nice. Um, all right, it says. Crisia Muñoz does in here. Let me just answer this message. Okay, let's see, Jose Flores, good evening. Hello, Jose. Hello. How are you? Hello. Uh, hi, my name is Jose Tilo Flores Alfaro. All right, it's nice to meet you. How are you today? How are you, Jose? Hi, eh, no le escucho bien. Voy a poner oh. audífono. Okay, that's fine. Um, let me see. Who haven't I greeted? Uh, Luz Marina. Good evening. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good. And you? Okay, excellent. I'm fine, thanks. How was your day? Uh, All right, it was good, nice. I'm glad to hear that. It's nice to meet you, Luz Marina. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Julia Maritza. Good evening. Good evening, sister. How are you? Fine, thank you. Great. Um, I'm doing well, thanks. How was your day? 
Very witty. Okay. okay. All right, that's very nice. Okay, let me see who haven't I greeted. I think I, I have said hi to the most of you. How about Jocelyn Romero? Good evening, Jocelyn. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Fine, and you? Good, I'm fine, thanks. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Okay, let me see, let me check if Gracia is back. Or not. Oh, it seems she's not here yet. All right. Okay, so we are going to start right away. Um, let me share my presentation first of all. So, good evening, everybody, and welcome to our class. And let me remind you that uh, this is Inglés Corporativo Institution, and we are working on the Programa de Formación en el Idioma Inglés. This is Principiante Module Number Three. And well, about your facilitator, I haven't introduced myself. I have been greeting you, but you do not know my name yet. Well, my name is Liliana Mendoza Axume. I'll be working with you for the next four weeks. So we'll be together here meeting at eight from Monday to Thursday, right? And I want to talk about the class requirements. Vamos a hablar un poquito de los, eh, los requerimientos de la clase, lo que esperamos de ustedes durante este curso. Sé que ustedes ya han llevado algunos niveles, entonces ya conocen la forma de trabajar, pero eh, siempre es bueno recordar, ¿verdad? Algunas, algunos detalles que se nos puedan de pronto escapar. Eh, la primera cosa es register in each of the sessions using your full name. Debemos registrarnos siempre en cada una de las sesiones utilizando nuestro nombre completo, según DUI. Entonces, eso indica que son los dos nombres y los dos apellidos. Por favor, es necesario que lo hagamos de esa forma para evitarnos inconvenientes de que de pronto con la asistencia pues tengamos alguna discrepancia, ¿verdad? A veces se nos da el caso de que hay participantes que tienen el mismo nombre, el mismo apellido. Entonces, pues no sabemos quién es quién. Por eso es necesario que tengamos nombre completo. Y bueno, creo que ustedes ya saben, pero igual, si se ubican, si de pronto usted entra con un nombre diferente porque no se fijó o por alguna cuestión, puede cambiar el nombre yéndose a la parte donde aparece su foto, a los tres puntitos, y ahí sale la opción Rename en inglés. Si lo tiene configurado en inglés, Rename. Y si lo tiene configurado en español, sería cambiar el nombre. Eso por si lo necesitan. Es importante que siempre revisemos el nombre con el que aparecemos para que no tengamos ningún inconveniente de este tipo. Igual a veces cuando eh, entran desde un celular, los registra con el nombre del celular. ¿verdad? De pronto tenemos por ahí Huawei o Samsung o something like that. Y pues no debería de ser el caso, así que les pido que estemos muy pendientes de eso, ya que eh, ya vamos a hablar de ello, pero la asistencia, como ustedes saben, es muy importante en este programa. Then, the use of microphone and video camera. Remember, you can use your microphone at any time. I don't mind if you interrupt the class whenever you have a doubt, whenever you need to ask something or to participate, it's okay. Pueden ustedes encender su micrófono en el momento en que necesiten participar. No tengo ningún problema con que me interrumpan porque tiene alguna pregunta, porque quiere participar o alguna cuestión. No hay ningún problema. Usted o abre su micrófono y participa. Pero sí le pido de favor que mientras no estemos participando, mantengamos el micrófono apagado. Esto para evitarnos el ruido de feedback que se nos hace, el background sound para que podamos eh, igual entendernos bien. Then, the use of the video camera. 
con la cámara, como ustedes ya manejan la información, es eh, obligatorio que la tengamos encendida durante todo el, toda la clase. Por favor, desde que entramos hasta que salimos, debemos mantener nuestra cámara encendida. De igual forma, esto como criterio para tomar la asistencia, para asegurarnos que ustedes están ahí eh, escuchando la clase y participando y que no pues está solamente conectado el dispositivo, ¿verdad? De igual forma, es bueno tener esa, ese recurso, ya que nos hace sentir un poquito más cercanos. Ya nos conocemos un poquito viéndonos y compartimos de una forma un tanto más directa, si le podemos llamar de esa forma. Así que, por favor, les pido mantengamos las cámaras encendidas. También, eh, con respecto a las cámaras, recordemos que en este programa se toman unas capturas de pantalla para efectos de asistencia igual. Entonces, en cierto momento yo voy a tomar las capturas y pues necesito que todos tengan su cámara encendida para que puedan aparecer y podamos tomar su asistencia a cada una de las sesiones. Next criterion is the registration in the English Corporativo platform. ¿Hay alguien de ustedes que sea nuevo en este programa? ¿O todos ya habían participado antes? Yes, teacher. Ya, ya hemos participado en los dos anteriores. Ya habían estado. Ok, perfecto. Entonces ya conocen una manera de trabajar. Vamos a trabajar con base a la plataforma. Y quiero saber si me confirman, por favor, que todos están registrados en la plataforma. A ver, Milagro. Milagro Elizabeth. Sí, teacher. Ok. Manuel, usted. Yes, I registered. Ok. And how about Julia? Julia Maritza, are you registered? Yes, teacher. Ok, Jocelyn. Yes, teacher. Great. Melissa. Yes, teacher. María del Carmen. Yes, teacher. Ok, María José, how about you? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Y en Marta Lilian. Yes, teacher. Ok. Melvin López, have you registered? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Is there anybody who hasn't registered? ¿Hay alguna persona que no se ha registrado aún? Que no ha podido entrar por algún problema. Ahorita, Tom. ahorita acabo de entrar yo, uh, teacher uh, Oscar okay. Ortega. Okay, very good, Oscar. All right, so I hope everybody is registered because remember uh, teacher, we are... Jose Alfaro. Tell me, Jose. Uh, have you registered? Jose Alfaro, have you registered? Hola. Eh, eh, yes, teacher. Okay. All right. That's good. Okay. So we have no trouble with that. And remember, it is very important to keep working on the platform because you are going to get a great and a promotion, sorry, a promotion depending on the work that you do on the platform. You have to get at least 80% of work there. Recordemos que en nuestra nota y, de, y si, si aprobamos o no aprobamos el curso, depende del de trabajo que hacemos en la plataforma y de igual forma de la asistencia. Así que hay que tener mucho cuidado con los dos aspectos irlos cuidando para que eh, al final pues todos podamos aprobar. Then, uh, well, in the same sense, you do your best to complete the lessons in the platform. De igual forma, les pido que hagamos el mejor esfuerzo para avanzar en plataforma, <coughs> para ir resolviendo todos los ejercicios y prácticas y obtener la nota máxima. 
And another thing is about the class videos. So remember that we record each of the sessions. So you can check them in case you have missed the classes or in case you need to, uh, to repeat or review something. Recordemos que contamos con los videos de las clases de cada una de las sesiones. Esto con la finalidad de que si ha perdido alguna de las clases, usted pueda ir a la plataforma, revisar y eh, ponerse al día. Igual si necesita repasar alguna parte de la clase, por ahí queda el video en la lista de reproducción de este curso. And at last, but very important, attendance con la asistencia. Me dicen que ustedes ya habían participado en este curso, entonces ya sabrán que eh, necesitamos obtener como mínimo el 80% de asistencia en el curso. Entonces eso implica que estemos en la gran mayoría de sesiones. De pronto por alguna emergencia podría ser que falte y no le dé problema, pero eh, realmente si no es emergencia, yo le recomendaría que no faltemos para que al final no se nos vaya a dar ningún inconveniente con la asistencia, ya que Insaform es bastante, eh, bastante exigente en cuanto a este aspecto. Entonces, para aprobar el curso necesitamos ambos aspectos, el avance en plataforma del 80% y la asistencia a un 80% también. Otro detalle importante de la asistencia es que la tomamos por minutos. Entonces, si usted llega eh, cinco minutos tarde, diez minutos tarde, eso se va a ir descontando. Y esos minutos también van descontando dentro del eh, porcentaje de asistencia. Entonces, al final usted puede decir, pero si yo me conecté a todas las sesiones, pero tengo 97%, 95%, puede ser por este detalle. Así que hay que cuidar esa cuestión, por favor. Como les digo, para que todos logremos culminar exitosamente. Um, any questions so far? ¿Tenemos alguna consulta? No questions. No questions. No questions. No questions. Okay. Um, all right. So about the platform. Let me go to the platform. Okay, give me a second. Y en cuanto a la asistencia, igual recordar que voy a estarla tomando en dos momentos de la clase, al inicio y también al final. Así que en un momento vamos a tomar la primera asistencia y luego pues ya nos quedaríamos al final de la clase también tomando esa asistencia final. Give me a second, please. Let me share this. Okay, so you know how the platform goes. You have a five different sections. We are going to complete the first three sections in the first two weeks. Estaríamos completando lo que son las primeras tres secciones en las primeras dos semanas. Es decir, tenemos hasta la próxima semana para poder completar hasta esta parte, incluyendo el examen de midterm que eh, lo estaríamos desarrollando allá al final de la semana, de la segunda semana. Eh, esto es el avance mínimo que esperamos durante estas dos semanas. Luego estaríamos trabajando en la tercera semana, section number four. And in the last week, week number four, we're going to be working on section five. En la última semana, semana número cuatro, estaríamos desarrollando la sección cinco. Ya ustedes conocen cómo va la plataforma. Tenemos acá uh, different materials. So we start with a lesson objective. Let me wait for it to load. There you have the lesson objective. Then we have a video that explains the topic. 
then we get another lesson objective and so on, right? And we also have some knowledge checks. Those are exercises we must develop. Tenemos también los knowledge checks, que son los ejercicios que debemos desarrollar, que pues son muy importantes. Todas las partes de la plataforma tienen una ponderación. Entonces hay que, hay que desarrollarlas todas, incluyendo ver videos y todo, porque es importante. And uh, be really careful with the knowledge checks because those are the most essential ones. Los knowledge checks son de los más esenciales, así que hay que desarrollarlos siempre. And, uh, okay. So that will be it about the platform. Any questions about it? No questions? No question, Tishi. Okay. And no then question, also let me uh, remind you and inform you that there is the student's manual over here. Tenemos también acá un manual del estudiante, que es un libro en digital. Creo que ustedes ya eh, habrán visto ese recurso. Entonces por acá podemos encontrarlo. We get the different lessons. And here you have, for example, the first topic, months and dates. Then the conversation. There is a grammar focus chart. There are some exercises, so we'll be using that as well. Ese sería otro de los recursos que vamos a estar utilizando en la clase. Y eh, en cuanto a este detalle, también mencionarles que a ustedes el día de mañana se les estar, estaría... Give me a second, Chris is having trouble again. All right, sorry, I have to be taking care of the messages as well. And um, so I was telling you, you're going to get a document, so you fill it out and you share it um, back with the English Corporativo administrators so they can, uh, they can file it. And it's very important because uh, that is where you inform that you got the material for the course. So this is the one, let me share it. El día de mañana les estarían compartiendo este documento que es para que ustedes lo llenen informando de que ya tienen el material del curso, que han podido entrar a la plataforma y que tienen todo el material para trabajar. Eh, acá se los leo rápidamente. Yo, eh, escribimos nuestro nombre con número de DUI siendo participante activo del programa de formación en el idioma inglés. Hago constar que tengo acceso personalizado a la plataforma virtual en donde encuentro y puedo descargar, imprimir o utilizar en línea el manual educativo correspondiente al nivel y módulo en el que estoy inscrito. Esto con fecha del lunes 17 de mayo de 2021 y necesitamos por ahí su firma. Entonces, el día de mañana se les estaría compartiendo este documento para que ustedes lo puedan llenar y lo puedan enviar eh, de vuelta a los encargados de administración. Eh, ok, so we are ready to start with our first lesson. All right, so uh, we are going to start by talking about months and dates. By the end of this class, you will learn the months and dates. Additionally, you will learn about birthdays. Ah, something I forgot to tell you. Perdón, eh, una cosita que se me olvidaba mencionarles. En verdad, yo prefiero impartir mi clase en inglés, ya que pues es la forma de practicarlo, de estar en contacto con el idioma y de esa forma pues podemos ir mejorando. Pero 
Si en algún momento usted cree que voy muy rápido o no me está comprendiendo, no hay ningún problema con que usted me detenga y me pida pues explicar de nuevo, explicar en español o igual pues eh, bajar la, la velocidad, ir un poquito más despacio y no hay ningún problema con eso. Aquí vamos a ir al ritmo de ustedes, así que tranquilos, no hay ningún problema con que me pida que repita tantas veces como necesite. Y yo estoy para ayudarles. And so our lesson objective, al final de esta clase ustedes aprenderán los meses y las fechas. Adicionalmente aprenderán sobre los cumpleaños. So uh, we are going to watch the video on the platform first. And then we're going to get some practice. And we are going to talk about the topic. So let me go to the course. Okay, we are watching the video of months and dates. I need everyone to pay attention and then we are going to comment about it, explain it and also review and repeat. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn the months and dates. Additionally, you'll learn about birth dates. Let's get started by listening and practicing the months and date. Practice the months and the dates. Months. January. February. March. April. May. June. July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, let me play that part once again so we can repeat it. Okay. February. And the dates. Months. February. Repeat, please. Months. 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 January. 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 February. 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 March. 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 April. 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 May. 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 June. May. June. 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 July. 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 August. July. August. 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 September. 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 October. September. October. 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 November. October. November. 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 December. November. December. 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 Okay, now that we have practiced the months, we are going to listen to the dates. Dates. First. First. Second. Third. Second. Third. Second. Fourth. Fifth. Third. Sixth. Fifth. 
We do not use the cardinal numbers. We use ordinal numbers. That's why they change. Para las fechas utilizamos los números ordinales. That's why they go first, second, third, fourth, and so on. So um, it's very easy to use the ordinal numbers since here, as you can see, the only different ones are first, second, and third. Those are the basic ones. So we must learn first, second, third. And then after number four, what we do is to add TH at the end. Si se fijan, los primeros tres son los diferentes. Esos son los números clave. First, second, third. Luego, a partir del cuatro, lo que hacemos en la gran mayoría es agregar el TH al final, que eso es lo que nos indica el orden, el número ordinal. Y hay un teacher, par de casos. Tell me. One question, teacher. Ok. No, no entendí cómo se pronuncia vige, el 20. Uh, 20th. No sé cómo se dice. 20th. 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 Okay. Teacher. Tell me. Y la pronunciación de H, ¿cómo se, se, cómo se dice al final de los números? Oh, Por ejemplo, okay. 15, eh, 15 sin el número, pero el, el TH al final, Think. ¿cómo Yes, ¿cómo so that TH sound oh. um, is almost noiseless, but um, we still have to pronounce it. Realmente es un sonido poco perceptible, pero sí tenemos que pronunciarlo porque sí hace una diferencia. Si se fijan, eh, hay una diferencia entre decir 15, 15, and 15, 15. So the way you pronounce the TH is you put your mouth like this. Like your, your tongue goes on your upper teeth. La lengua iría más o menos en la dirección de los dientes de arriba y de esa forma pues sacamos un poco de aire y ahí lo vamos a producir. Fifteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth. That at the end makes a difference. So, uh, well, the way to learn it is practicing it. Para aprenderlo hay que practicarlo mucho. So you keep practicing, practicing, and practicing, and you'll get it. Hay que practicarlo y ya van a ver que eventualmente van a poder, eh, van a poder producirlo sin ningún problema. Entonces, les explicaba, los primeros tres son los diferentes, luego agregamos CH a los números que ya conocemos. Excepto en algunos casos, por ejemplo, FIF, si se fija acá, cambiamos la V y la E por F, FIF. El número eh, cardinal 5 se convierte en 5. Y eh, lo mismo sucede, bueno, un caso parecido en el 9th. Ninth, ninth. And then eh, pronunciation is kind of different. Oh, 
We also have 12, which is different. It takes an F, 12. And um, what was that? Oh, I was going to tell you about pronunciation of number 20. Luego, la pronunciación es un poquito diferente para este número, 20 and 30. So let's keep practicing them. Everybody repeat, please. First. Second. 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 Third. 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 Fourth. Fourth. Fifth. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. 16 16 16 17 17 17 17 18 18 Okay, um, pronounce that last sound. Hay que pronunciar ese último sonido porque eh, si nos fijamos la única diferencia es esa pronunciación 17. del TH 18 18th, 17th, 17th, exactly, similar, 17th, 18th, 19th, so let's continue, 18th, 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 19th, 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 21st, 21st, 22nd, 28th 28 29th 30th 31st 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 Ok, otra cosa importante a tener en cuenta es que acá a partir de los del 20, 30 y así vamos agregando y repitiendo los mismos números del 1 al 10 entonces acá por ejemplo 20, or, well, I don't even know how to say that in Spanish. What would it be? Vigésimo. Okay, uh, so vigésimo, then we go 21st, 22nd, 23rd, and we keep repeating. Seguimos utilizando los mismos números desde el 1 hasta el 9, junto con el 20. Luego acá, lo, pasa lo mismo con el 30. 31st, 32nd, 33rd. And so on. Same with the 40s, 41st, 42nd, 43rd, and so on. Lo mismo ocurre en cada uno de los décimos. Así que hay que eh, tomar eso en cuenta. En verdad, solo es de practicar un poquito más. Eh, and we'll get it. It's very easy. Okay, so let's continue watching the video. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 
18, 19, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. Now let's learn how to talk about your birthday. The question is, when is your birthday? My birthday is on April 5th. To express birthdays or to express any particular date, we can follow this next formula. That's special day plus the verb to be plus the preposition on plus month plus the date. Let's put that formula into practice. My birthday is on April 5th. A special day is my birthday. Then we include the verb to be is. After that, we need to add the preposition on. Next, we add the month April. Uh, finally, we include the date fifth. Let me give one more example. When is Independence Day in the U.S. Independence Day is on July 4th. The uh, special day is Independence Day. And we include the verb to be is. After that, we need to add the preposition on. Next, we add the month, July. And finally, we include the date, 4th. Okay, so that is the way we provide dates in English. So uh, we normally use the preposition on for expressing a complete dates or full dates. For example, on April 5th, on July 4th. And, and then you know that we use the verb be, right, to talk about dates. When is your birthday? When is Independence Day? When is the New Year's Eve? When is the Christmas Eve? And so on. But also we have another option for um, the dates. It's not only the preposition on we can use, but we can also use here. Let me make it bigger. All right, so here we have the months that we have already practiced. And uh, we can also use, if we are only mentioning the month in, in which something happens, we can use the preposition in. For example, we say, my birthday is in November. My birthday is in March. My birthday is in May. Or my birthday is in October. Cuando mencionamos solamente el mes, no estamos mencionando toda la fecha completa, entonces podemos utilizar solo la preposición in. As in, my birthday is in 
December. My birthday is in January. Sería de esa forma que utilizamos solo el mes. For example, let me ask, Oscar Ortega, when is your birthday? Only mention the month. Yeah, um, my birthday is in July. In July, okay, good. Maria Jose Abrego, how about yours? My birthday is in March. In March, all right. Luis Alfonso? Me? Yes, when's your birthday? Luis Alonso, teacher. Oh, Luis Alonso, sorry. Uh, my birthday is in March. In March, okay, very well. And how about yours, Marvin Joseph? My birthday is in July. In July, okay, very well. And then uh, you know that we use, uh, well, we're going to leave that for later. And then uh, here. And remember that we use the preposition on for providing the full date. Para la fecha completa, entonces si utilizaríamos on. My birthday is on November 17th. My birthday is in November. My birthday is on November 17th. De esa forma lo estaríamos utilizando. So we are going to have some time to practice tomorrow. And now I need to take attendance. Voy a pasar a tomar la asistencia en este momento. So just give me a second. I need you all to turn on your cameras, please. Recuerde mantener su cámara encendida. So we can get the screenshot. I see some people are still missing. Some people still have cameras off. A ver, algunos todavía tienen cámaras apagadas. Thank you. Okay, give me a second. I'm getting... All right, so I'll get the first screenshot right now. So everybody cameras on and uh, try that we can see you clearly, okay? All right, let's get it now. I got the first one and wait a little please because we need another one. Maybe there are two. Okay, let me get the other one. Here we go. Uh, how about Luis Carlos and Marco? Can you turn on your cameras, please? Okay, so let me take this shot anyways. Um, everybody look at the screen. Okay, here we go. All right, and now let me uh, call you each by your name. Voy a tomar asistencia según nombre. Por favor, me van respondiendo el que vaya mencionando. Um, so let me see here. Ángel Eduardo Ramírez. Ángel Eduardo Ramírez. Oh, wait a little, it seems. I'm mistaken, permítame, creo que estoy en la lista equivocada. Um, hmm. Get me a sec. Here we go. Okay, so we got Ingrid Carolina Sanchez, Aquino. Present. Thank you. Jennifer Noemi Carballo. Present. 
Okay. And how about Jocelyn Asiria Romero Gaitan? Present. Okay. Joana Raquel Cortez Flores. Present teacher. Julia Maritza Bautista Díaz. Present. Thanks. Karen Elizabeth Calderón Gomar. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Stephanie Argueta Escobar. Karen Stephanie. Okay. Um, Carla Iris Martinez Escobar. Present teacher. Carla Vanessa. Thank you, Carla. And how about Carla Vanessa Gonzalez Hernandez? I'm here, teacher. Okay, thanks. Katia Lisbeth Arriola Aragón. Katia Lisbeth. Not here. Okay. Crisia Magdalena Muñoz Hernandez. I think Crisia was having trouble with the with the audio. Here. Oh, thanks. I'm here. Okay, good. <laughs> you fixed it. Nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, Luis Alberto Enriquez Duran. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, let's see. Luis Alfonso, Luis Alonso, sorry. Luis Alonso Mendoza Lara. Present teacher. Okay, Luis Carlos Guevara Velasco. Present. Luz Marina Hernández Flores. Present. Thanks. Mayra Lorena Portillo Gamero. Present teacher. Manuel Aristides Murcia. Present teacher. Present, okay. Marco Antonio Ramírez Flores. Present teacher. María del Carmen Jorge. Present teacher. Okay, thanks. Mario Jos María José Abrego Valle. Present teacher. And María José Martínez Meléndez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Marlene Guadalupe Berríos Hernández. Present me. Okay. Marta Lilian Guevara Guevara. Present. Thank you. Marvin Joseph Salazar Alas. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Roxana Vilorio Segovia. Present teacher. Thank you. And Melissa Arely. Thank you, Mayra. I got it. Eh, Melissa Arely Guardado Moreno. Present teacher. Thank you, Melissa. Present. Okay. And Melvin Antonio Lopez Hernandez. Present teacher. Thanks. Milagro Elizabeth Mira Polanco. Present teacher. Thank you. Nancy Carolina Mengibar Serpas. Nancy Carolina, not here. Okay, and how about Oscar Giovanni Ortega Mejia? Present, present teacher. Okay, and Wilber Alberto Rodriguez Amaya. Wilber Alberto Rodriguez Amaya. Okay. All right, so I got the attendance. Um, do you have any questions, any doubts about what we have been talking? No questions? Uh, oh, it says Melissa has some trouble. Give me a second, let me just check this message. Melissa, I didn't want that. Okay, let me check the attendance. Okay. Don't worry, Melissa, I got you in the attendance. 
And all right, so that will be the way we are going to be working in this course. Tomorrow we are going to continue reviewing and we are going to get further practice. So we keep on practicing English and improving it. And that's all for today's class. Thanks everyone for your attention. Have a good night. And it was nice to meet you. See you tomorrow. Good night, See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you. Take care. Bye. 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 I want to meet you.